these are superworms and these are superworms as well <laughs> but yeah these are what i feed my tarantulas and if you can see their pinchers in the front there yeah they're very sharp and they can hurt your tarantula if they want to well they probably do want to so don't give them a chance to do that usually when i feed my slings i will pre-kill them i'll grab them by the body just snap off the head yeah kind of brutal but it is what it is to protect your teeth now what happens if your tarantula does not scavenge on hello little gbb over here what happens if they don't scavenge on the worm well you'll get gnats and well basically you just remove it just remove the worm and you'll be all good these gnats they will not harm your tarantula don't worry it's just i don't like the looks of them and obviously it's always better to take out uneaten food items and then here is another one so these ones they just recently molted which is also a reason why you pre-kill these worms otherwise when your tarantula molts they'll give the opportunity they'll take the opportunity to attack your tea because your tea is soft and especially when these superworms turn into beetles they are mean okay the beetles are larger than this tarantula itself and they are mean so what happens if you left the worm in there the tarantula never ate it and you didn't take out the worm for one to two days i would say two to three days well over here you will get maggots so basically the maggots will start attacking the worm and some random mites decomposing mites not to worry not the predatory mites that will harm your teeth this is my theraphosa apophysis apophysis however you want to say it like i said the gnats they will not harm your teeth these maggots are the gnat maggots so yeah, oh my okay will not harm the teeth but the teeth will harm my tongs <laughs> come on get off go away go away okay so that is uh, that's disgusting and you are left with some maggots we will get a tissue to wipe that away so where are my tissues okay so over here so this is a toilet paper <laughs> so this is why i keep toilet papers here yeah one of the reason is so i can hey can you please get out of the way move move thank you so i can wipe off the maggots and yeah because i don't like the looks of them and i mean like i said they don't harm the tarantula in any way it's just i don't like them and obviously it's always nicer to have a maggot free enclosure am i right or am i right obviously okay so what happens if the worm that the maggot was eating and you didn't take it out like what i just did well basically look here the maggot would they, they, they would just finish up the worm and just well yeah that is kind of nasty just maggots thriving over there so what you're gonna do is grab a tissue and just basically do the same thing oh man you're kicking hairs at me just wipe off the maggots and we'll be good to go yeah yeah I'm pretty sure your tea will eat the maggot as well like a sling or something they'll probably have the maggot as a snack but I don't like maggots so yeah just take them off throw them into the bin and you are good to go so the best thing is pre-kill your super worms or meal worms if you're feeding snakes because i don't know when they're going to be in primo i just put it in let them scavenge and yeah let them do their thing so i don't have to worry if the worm and maggot is pretty much dead so yeah so that's what happens if you don't take out your dead Bray item.